What's up guys, Reese here from Reese3D.com. This is the second part of our tutorial series in creating human rig using the human IK uh, in Maya. So in the previous one, we created the uh, skeleton setup. And in this part, we're going to create the control rig. Now in all days when we have to create control rigs, we need to create every single uh, control curve using a NURBS curve. But now Maya has made it much simpler with a single click, we can get all the control curves ready. So let's go ahead and create that. So once we have this character ready with the joins, we can go to this definition section, right? So in the definition, we have two little puppets here. Let's click on this first one that says uh, create control rig. So click on that. That's going to take some time to calculate and it has created our control rig. So what basically Maya does is it hides the joints that we created and it actually gives us a fake joint that looks like a joint but it's basically some kind of control curves uh, helping us to create the movement for this character. So if I go ahead and let's say for example click on this red triangle here and I can choose my move tool and I can basically move this character around. Right? Great. So I can also select these controls and adjust them as well. So you can see that it moves the hand around. I can select this one and I can move this hand this way as well. Or I can also select these controls. You can see that the move is basically being blocked here but I can rotate them. Great. So all these controls are being created by Maya. All we need to do is we can start uh, connecting these to the mesh that we have, which is called a skinning process, and we can actually make this make or create animation from here. So at this point, we need to understand something called IK and FK, right? So let me just give you a little example here. So I'm just going to create a simple joint and I'm just going I'm going to show you both with IK and FK here. So imagine that I'm creating the joint for this leg. So let me start from here. So one, two, three, and four. I'm going to duplicate this to have one more here, control D. So I'm going to make one of these controls to be in IK and one of them in FK. So let's say this one is going to be in IK. So I'll go ahead and create an IK handle here. So if I go to skeleton and I can click on this create IK handle. So click on this parent and the child. Now, before we do something here, let me just give you more understanding on this words IK and FK. IK stands for inverse kinematics and FK stands for forward kinematics. So what is this IK and FK, right? So the difference is that the way it controls the joints, meaning in FK, the parent joint will have control over the child and in IK, the child joint will have control over the parent. So look here, we have a joint chain where this is the parent, this is the child, and this is the child of the child, and this is the child of the child of the child, right? So if I rotate this parent joint, watch what happens, all the children go along with them, right? If I rotate this joint, all the children go along with them. And if I rotate this joint, all its children goes along with it but the child has no control over the parent. So if I just rotate this guy, the child is still going to be there. If I rotate, sorry, the parent is still going to be there. And if I rotate this child, this parent is still going to be there. But in case of IK, watch what happens if I click on this IK handle here, and you can see that this is the child, and this is the parent of the child, and this is the grandparent of this child, and watch what happens. The child decides where the parent will be. So this is an easy way of understanding the difference between inverse kinematics and forward kinematics. So forward kinematics, that is FK, forward control, that means like the parent controls the child, 
forward, that's normal, right? So the parent controls the child, that is FK, and here the child controls the parent, which is inverse kinematics, that is IK. Okay, so in the rig that we have, we basically have both of these options. We have the forward kinematics and we also have the inverse kinematics. So if I go back here, if I select um, this circle here, the red one, okay, so this is IK for the hand, right? But if I select this joint and rotate, okay, you see, that's FK, that is forward kinematics. So if I select this one and rotate again, that is forward kinematics. So in a single joint, a single joint chain or in a single character, we have the choice of both animating it through the IK or through the FK. Great. And also here you can see that um, the center, the hip joint, it is basically going to help us to create the IK movements. And we have these circles, which is basically going to help us to create the FK movements. Uh, sometimes FKs are being blocked based on the kind of requirement that is there for this character and um, we will have to unlock it or unblock it to make use of those uh, controls as well. There you go. So I can uh, basically animate this like so or I can just bring it back to its original place. And let's say if I just select uh, for example this guy I should be able to, yeah, should be able to move the upper body uh, from the hip area. Let me see if I can move it forward, yes, and backwards as well. So let's do one last step before we finish this video, that is connecting the joints to the mesh, right? So now that I have created this control, uh, control rig, I don't have access to these joints because the joints are being hidden actually. So let me just hide these two joints that I created and the IK. Yes, good. So now, uh, to reveal the joints that are hidden inside, we need to basically click on this little button that says uh, Show or Hide Skeleton. If I click on that, it's basically going to show us the uh, skeleton here. Uh, sometimes when you do this, it might delete the um, control uh, rig that we have. So if it happens, don't worry. It's just one click away from uh, getting back okay fine so now let me just uh, select this root joint here let's see if I can get a hold of that can I no yes okay let me try to zoom in here yeah click on that guy no okay so let me see if I can access it from here yes there you go so that's the hip so let me select that and shift select the entire body. Okay, so the entire body is actually comp composed of a lot of stuff here. So I'll press control here and click on this geometry. So that selects the entire geometry and the um, skeleton here. And now all I need to do is um, go to skin and bind skin. Let's go to these options here. Let's reset everything and just make sure that we have the right settings here. So join hierarchy because yes, I selected just one joint, but I want the entire joint chain to be connected to this body. So I can just leave it as it is. And um, the binding method, basically we can just go for this uh, geodesic voxel, which is the most more recent one. And if it doesn't work, you can just try the other ones as well. So let's just go with this last one here. And um, let's leave everything else as it is. And for this maximum influence, let's keep it Two, because this is basically deciding how much influence um, for each pixel uh, should should be there from this different uh, joint. So let's say the joint that is nearby and one more joint that is a little away. You can also use three if you want, but I think two is fine. Let's leave everything else as it is and hit apply and close. So it's going to take some time to process. There you go. And that's it. So now if I select the upper body, for example, upper body control and move it along, you can see that, wow, our character is actually making the animation there. Looking good. Let's say if I select this leg, for example, and I lift it up, you can see that our character does that as well. 
And if I do the same thing here, for example, select this guy, and I can actually hide the um, the skeleton here for that. Okay, go back here. All right. So now, if I can just rotate that, you can see that that happens perfectly fine. Now, in terms of these controls, we can also control these individual fingers. I can just go back here to select the entire character. Sometimes you might have like overlapping characters or you might have your character in a weird position that you don't have access to these controls. You can simply select them from here as well. Okay, so if you can just select this hand, I can just rotate that. If I want to select this other hand, I can select this guy and rotate that as well. So all controls um, are here for us so we can just make whatever kind of movements is saying hi okay so um, but at this point you you will notice that we might have some kind of issues in terms of the rotations uh, uh, with with these joint area let's say if I just rotate it like so you can see that we have some minor issues here and sometimes in the hand area as well okay hand looks fine I guess no there is some minor issues here so these things we need to fix uh, with paint weights or skinning paint weights right so that we will do in the next video so thanks for watching guys see you in the next one